Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Sean. In this video, I want to talk about the rate of weight loss for the obese and morbidly obese. Before I get into that topic, if you have a question or comment, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions, the best questions I turn into videos like this. So I'm sick. If I spontaneously sneeze or cough or just blow a gasket and my guts come flying out, I apologize for that. But um, was talking with Alan Roberts from Every Damn Day Fitness <clears throat> today um, over the Facebook Messenger about the rate of weight loss. And it's accepted in the uh, bodybuilding or muscle building industry that you want to lose about one to one and a half pounds of weight per week for optimal body composition. Meaning if you lose weight more quickly than that, that at the end of the road, you're going to lose a little bit more muscle than you'd like to along the journey, and you won't look as good as you should. Now, on paper, that is pretty good advice. But it uh, there's a couple of things involved here. There's One of the issues is dealing with obese or morbidly obese people with health issues. And at that point, if you are um, at an unhealthy weight, you need to worry about health first and foremost before you worry about body composition and what you look like at the end of your weight loss journey. That that doesn't mean you don't you shouldn't want to look your best or you you won't look your best. And I'll, I'll explain I'll explain a little bit more about this in a second. But you need to get your life in order and your health in order first and drop that weight before you worry about optimal body composition. Now, before I talk about that, I want to talk about optimal body composition. There's a belief that <clears throat> if you lose more than a pound and a half to two pounds a week, that um, you're going to lose too much muscle. The, uh, that, that is probably true. That is true for most people. What, what what we tend to boil that down to, though, is if you lose more weight than this per week, it, there's a belief that all of a sudden you're just going to lose a ton more muscle. Um, this is really going to boil down to the individual. How much muscle mass you're going to lose if you lose weight more rapidly is going to vary, but it's probably not going to be a ton. If you are losing 60 to 70 pounds of weight and you're losing say three to four pounds a week, you might lose five more pounds of muscle mass. I'm just tossing that out there. But here's the thing you need to understand before I dive into the uh, optimal rate of weight loss for the obese and morbidly obese. Muscle memory. No matter how much muscle you have right now, if you lose weight at a rate that is more than what's considered optimal, which is a pound and a half to two pounds a week, after your weight loss is done and you're in your routine of eating healthy and lifting weights, you're probably going to gain that muscle mass that you lost back because of muscle memory, of muscle memory, and that is a real thing. So even if you lose weight more quickly than the gurus or more quickly than what is accepted for optimal body composition, you're going to be healthier and you're going to gain that what that muscle mass back because you're using resistance training. So for those of you that are obese or morbidly obese and you're afraid, <clears throat> excuse me, you're afraid of losing weight too quickly, here's something you need to understand. When you're dead, it doesn't matter how much muscle mass you have on your corpse. Let that resonate. When you're dead, it doesn't matter how much muscle mass you have on your corpse. If you are severely obese or morbidly obese, you need to get the weight off of your body. Now, I don't want you to do anything ridiculous. I don't want you to starve yourself or use a fad diet. But on the other hand, I also don't want you to be afraid of losing weight too rapidly, three to four pounds a week. In fact, if you are obese, severely obese or morbidly obese, then losing three to four pounds a week is, is better for you, is better for you because it's not going to take you 
two years to lose the weight you need to lose. And the good news is, during that time, you're in the gym working hard, you're building strength to encourage, the, to encourage your body to retain muscle mass. Um, you're doing your cardio, which is going to bring up your overall health and your heart health. And when you're done, when you're done losing weight, the muscle mass will start to come back on because of muscle memory. So don't fear the extra muscle loss. You need to focus on your health first, your health first and body composition second if you are extremely overweight or morbidly obese. And that's the point of this video. Now, I am speaking as somebody who was morbidly obese and lost 100 pounds. <clears throat> and after I lost 100 pounds, um, you can see in my pictures I gained maybe 10 pounds of muscle mass back after I was done over the next year to two years. So muscle memory worked for me. So I'm speaking from experience. So I'm often asked about the rate of weight loss for extremely obese and morbidly obese people. Don't worry if you're losing weight more than what is the accepted standard because you need to get your health in order and you need to focus on longevity first and foremost. And then when you're not in a casket, then you can worry about making your body more optimal. But from this point, you're working at a skinnier weight, a skinnier frame, and you already look better. And you have the benefit of muscle memory working for you. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. If you need a good book on weight loss, check out my book, link below, Flex Calorie Dieting. It'll help you lose weight, eat a few of the extra foods you like, and keep your sanity. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.